Hi, I'm Associate Professor Raylene Endersby and I co-lead the Brain Tumour Research Program at the Telethon Kids Institute in Perth. Children get a really different set of brain cancers compared to adults and so that means that we have to do research specifically on these childhood brain cancers. I did my PhD in leukaemia and it's one of the real success stories in cancer therapy. We're all about identifying new therapies that are going to improve survival but we're very conscious about the side effects. So we do a lot of work in the lab before we even recommend something for clinical trial where we test very carefully the safety of these treatments and especially the safety in a developing body because a child is not the same as an adult. They're still growing, their bodies are going through so much change that the therapies affect them very differently and so we evaluate that very carefully in the lab before we would make any clinical recommendation for a new therapy. And that's really where the research is so critical to getting the best treatments forward into the hospital. I think even though we have a much better awareness of cancer these days, no one expects a child to be diagnosed with cancer and so it can be a real shock to families when um, their seemingly healthy child starts to behave differently and they diagnose a cancer and I think they're even more shocked to find out that these days we still don't have treatments that we can say that your child is going to grow up. What I really love about the team that I work with here at Telethon Kids is that we all actually come to work and tackle this problem of brain cancer from different areas of expertise. So I am an expert in genetics and cell biology and I co-lead my team with Nick Gattardo who is an oncologist and he's the head of department here in the Children's Hospital. And then the people in the team actually have really diverse skill sets as well. So we have a mixture of uh, clinicians that are learning to do laboratory work, uh, but also we have people that have worked in immunology, um, in physics in fact. Uh, we've got people that have worked in drug companies and pharmaceutical companies, and they all bring their knowledge and expertise and now to focus on our challenge, which is trying to find better treatments for brain cancer. We have a pretty aspirational goal, and that's that no child should die of brain cancer and that's because we've discovered the treatments that's going to cure them. So that's what we're working towards and we'll keep working until we get to that goal. We think the next frontier is immunotherapy um, and we're really excited by some recent data that we have in the lab where we can overlay immunotherapy on top of these other treatments and we're seeing really promising results. Immunotherapies are a range of different treatments all aimed at harnessing the power of immune cells and the immune system to fight and attack cancer. Brain cancer is such an insidious and difficult disease to treat. No one team is going to do that. We really need all of the smart people around the world uh, to focus their minds on this certain challenge. Being part of the Brain Cancer Centre is amazing because it's a group of researchers that are so like-minded that we all want to tackle brain cancer as a problem and find solutions and share our expertise and our knowledge. What's been really amazing is in the short time since I've been in the Brain Cancer Centre, I already have collaborative projects with many different teams in Melbourne, in Brisbane um, and overseas as well. So that's going to make a huge impact for brain cancer patients and their families because what that means is that we will be able to make the discoveries much more quickly and then we'll be able to share them much more broadly. So that won't be restricted to one hospital in Australia, but it will be across Australia and internationally where we will be able to really have an impact with our discoveries.